Oh, he's huge! He is massive. He's really big. He stole it. He did whatever. Because what else was in that locker? The glove was in there, but it fell on the floor and it was abandoned on the floor. Yeah. So he didn't get to take the evidence because Meekin showed up. Maybe in his mm. panic, he ran out without it. When was the second knife found? Like the, the evidence knife, do we know? Does it say? Mm. Found at the crime scene. So this was found with Lana. This was in the muffler. Yeah. That was in the... In the garage. Garage. That was wrapped in the muffler in the muffler. Yeah. Huh. So I don't think that has connection to him. Did Try the press next something? line. Did I not press this? Uh, the first one? I thought there you did. There was one did. thing you didn't press. And that was the 515. This one. Press. Okay. Tap. But the blood found at the scene certainly indicates a crime took place. What are you, Bland? The victim shown on that tape is me. And I'm not dead yet, partner. So, you stole the evidence from the locker? Oh. oh. Actually, no, I didn't. That's what you're saying, Mars. Hmm. Why not? When I opened the locker, the evidence was already gone. Ooh. Because Lana got to it first. Or Gan. Or Goodman. Actual Goodman. Hmm. What? Mr. Edgeworth, where is that evidence? It had to be actual Goodman because he's the only one that can open the locker. So Goodman went and took something. And that's why all of the blood is there, for some reason that he did there. It's still missing, Your Honor. Mm. D Detective Goodman's locker was already empty. Someone else stole the evidence. Tap! And Officer left Marshall. the glove in place. May I ask you one thing? You just did, partner. Well, go ahead, fire away. It's a free country. Just remember, I'm also free to decide whether to answer or not. Yeah, technically. Uh, oh, why did you do this? Stealing a detective's ID, injuring a police officer. This is no small offense. Oh, the emotional music is playing. Moreover, you're an officer yourself. Mm. This will have serious consequences. It can't just be forgiven with a simple cut in salary. Like what, did your brother get killed or something? Not that salary cuts are ever a valid solution, Edward, but you know. Like I said, this isn't your case. This one is mine. And I'll do anything it takes to get an answer I'm satisfied with. Hmm. Mm. The witness has an unusual amount of zeal. Let's hear more. Okay, now, now is the case evidence. Okay. I can't forget it, you know why. I mean, I'll press it, but I'm pretty sure now is the case evidence. But that case was solved two years ago, wasn't it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the reason the evidence was stored in the evidence room. Joe Dark was convicted for his crime. One thing I can say for sure is he deserved his sentence. Are you sure, Edgy? Are you sure? I remember the Joe Dark case. It involved serial murders, didn't it? Yeah, hungry. Ooh, I have cereal later. Mm. I don't intend to complain about how it turned out, but there's something that still bothers me. Ooh. Something went down at that trial. Something no one will talk about. Oh, God. What happened? No one will talk about it. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because <laughs> no one else was in the room where it happened. In the room where it happened. happened. The room where it happened. happened. Why is he so concerned with that incident? It's not like I just read the case and he probably has some familiar connection to him. So maybe I should present him with what I think the reason is. All right, I was up for part D. We all were. I had a feeling. We'd wind up here sooner or later. <sighs> Everyone involved here is related in some way to that case. It's hard being smarter than the game sometimes. <laughs> are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yes, we are, in apparently. This case, yes. <laughs> I'd better take another look at those files. There it is. Okay, okay we just need the right line. Do you? Is it the last one? I think it's the one where he's like, I can't forget it. Yeah. Yeah, this one. I just can't forget. There we go. Now we do this. We do know why. Now we do this. God, I keep doing that. E to present. Objection. Officer Music Marshall. stop. I think yeah. I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. Sounds like you've been sipping too much cactus, partner. Drink cactus juice. It'll you quench ya. It'll quench you. It'll quench you. Yes. What the f*** did I just step in? Hey, you're the one who said cactus juice. I took a sip of water just as Dylan was Marshall, and that's why I was dying. I was gonna spit all over my <laughs> I was, I was about to say, that sounded like a Viceroy <laughs> laugh. Yeah. Okay, what the f*** did I step in now? I have the SL9 incident file here. The name Marshall is mentioned here in a list. 
of murder victims. <gasps> Neil Marshall, are you related to this man? Neil Marshall? Well, it, it wouldn't be R, it would be were. Yeah. Ooh. I'm sure you've heard the name two years ago. <gasps> why is he a cowboy too? Maybe that's why he leans so hard into the cowboy stuff. He received the same Laza Prosecutor Award that you got. Oh, when he died oh. it broke? What? A prosecutor? He must be talking about the King of Prosecutors Award. Now I remember. Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He handled the SL9 case before I did. And then he died. That's right. Damn. He was killed. And the case fell into your hands. But what's his relation to you? Really, Judge? I'm betting brothers. I'm thinking brother. <gasps> he was my brother. Oh, he took off the hat! The hat came up. We have proven that it really is hair. It is hair. It's not yeah. some weird hood on top of a hat. He was investigating the murders with Damon Gant, then Deputy Chief of Police. Damn. I'm gonna assume that Marshall's older brother. That that Jake is older brother. Yeah, there he is. The group of detectives that I was part of worked under them. And it was foreshadowed when we saw yeah. this picture earlier. Exactly. He was there. We were desperate to prosecute the killer. Is that Edgeworth's knife? Like, Jesus? <laughs> Joe Dark. My brother fought Dark and was killed. Damn. That was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. A sacrifice? Jesus. Whew. Holy <laughs> He was arraigned and incarcerated. The case was finally closed. At least, according to the public records. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. What? I knew my brother better than anyone. Always carried a revolver. In fact, hmm? six. He would have shot down in a country bumpkin <laughs> with a knife. There's just no way he could have been beaten in a fight like that. And that's it? That's your reason for your insane actions? Edgeworth, you kind of went crazy when your father died, too. This is also very true. <laughs> I was literally a child, so shut up. Mm -hmm. Plus L plus ratio. <laughs> There's more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. I tapped if it was off screen. <laughs> at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened at the police department on the day of the crime. It was the last day the SL9 case could be reopened. Not satisfied with its resolution, Officer Marshall planned to steal the evidence, and then he was caught red-handed. I just feel bad for him. Disguising himself as Detective Goodman. He entered the evidence room. Officer Meekins confronted him, so he rendered him unconscious and fled. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. Hmm? And Shake said, The things that happen by chance never cease to amaze. At exactly the same time as the murder at the prosecutor's office, this fake murder was going on at the police department. Chance? It's got to be more than just that. I have too many nickels. So if no one was murdered at the police department on the day of the crime, that means the murder in the prosecutor's office's parking lot was the real one. Phoenix, you say you have all these nickels, but you're not making any damn sense. <laughs> <laughs> Which in turn means only one person could have committed the crime. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. Objection! But but wait! A verdict wasn't reached in yesterday's trial. Objection? Tap. Which is why we examined the incident at the police department today. That's why we're here. But! There's only one reason the defendant was not convicted yesterday. There yet remain the mystery of the simultaneous murder at the police department. Seems to me, this boy's got the draw on you, partner. All of the mysteries at the police department have been resolved, thanks to you. No doubt about it. Not the blood, though. Tap! Our sole murder took place at the prosecutor's office. The only suspect is Lana Sky. And the testimony of one Miss Angel Star is completely completely incontestable if you have a response. Make it a single word or less. Objection. Yeah, uh, that was not a word, it doesn't count. Wrong word, Phoenix. Um, bow. I rest my case. Oh no. It seems this trial has reached its conclusion. There's no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thanks to you, I didn't need to waste my time disproving the alleged murder at the police department. There's no doubt what I proved today is true. The apparent murder on the security camera's tape really was a fake, but I didn't realize that would end up proving Lana guilty. Now then, the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. <gasps> Emma. Hold it! Y Your Honor! Wait! Emma? The defense has an objection, a scientific objection, right? Uh, uh, what do you mean, right? Mr. Wright, are you this girl's <laughs> guardian? Your Honor? Oh, uh, in, in a sense, I, I guess, uh... Please, Your Honor, all I'm asking is for a minute of your time. Please hear me out. Mr. Edgeworth, please? You don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. Oh, generous. Mm, very generous. I, I was kind of in shock. I mean... 
finding out the SL9 incident referred to the Joe Dark killings. Now that you mentioned it, the names of both Sky Sisters were in that file. But that's when I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day. So I knew his fingerprint had nothing to do with the crime. That left only one thing, the other handprint. You mean the traces of blood found on Detective Gumshoe's locker? Uh, it's from like before. But no fingerprints were found on it, right? No, but I figured if I examined it scientifically, I'd be sure to find a clue. So I ran over there and looked at it again. Pshoom. Uh, so did you find something? Um, no. Oh, huh? Sorry, I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator after all. And that's been a three. Mm. Uh, is that all? Please don't be mad. I'm just a high school student. I'm just more curious as to why you came and, like, testified to literally nothing. Because <laughs> I'm just an attorney. But Mr. Wright, those traces of blood are the only clue we have. If we can't find something wrong with them... Please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. Well, we know that Marshall wasn't wearing gloves, so they couldn't be his fingerprints from that moment. If anyone can save Lana, it's you! Me? Oh, oh boy! Uh -uh. Time's up. Now then, Mr. Wright, with regard to the incident at the police department, does any reasonable doubt remain? Um... Wait, so now it's reasonable doubt, but before it was beyond a shadow of a doubt? <laughs> Interesting. It appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mar. Looking at the floor plans, a handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? Yeah, in the footage, we don't see the handprint already there? I don't think I saw it. Mr. Wright, I'm sorry I can't be of more use. But still, if you can't find anything wrong with that blood mark, Lana will be... Please answer my question, Mr. Wright. We don't have all day. You haven't given me the options yet, but yeah, yes, Your Honor. If I ever needed to concentrate, it's now. What could be wrong with the handprint on Detective Gumshoe's lock? Could there be something I'm missing? I mean, I object. Given the button. Objection. Tap. This handprint left at the crime scene clearly shows a contradiction. <laughs> Shake said, the only thing that seems clear is that you're grasping, Mr. Wright. You've been staring pretty intently at those floor plans. Tell me, is there a problem with them? He just said yes. Yes, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Something is missing. Missing? You mean something hasn't been drawn on there? Of course. Yes, something that when drawn will completely change the meaning of this blood mark. Just get uh, to it already. <laughs> let us pray the defense isn't simply trying to buy time. I would like to go home one day. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wright. With all this evidence here, there's got to be something I can use. The question is, which item can prove something is missing from the floor plans? I mean, yeah, my, floor, my plans, floor plans? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would check them first. Can we check them yeah. first? I have the big blood and I have this, so this is what's missing from the floor plans. This pool of blood. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna present this. I think that's it. I don't know what else it would be. Mm. Okay. I mean, do you? Not yet. That's the only thing I can think of. I thought they were talking like maybe a locker space was missing. We got the health to spare. Go ahead. Yeah. You know what? Go for it. Okay. Take that. As they say back west, even a blind man can hit with buckshot. That is. So long as he's facing the general direction. Oh no. Yay. <sighs> it seems Mr. Wright's not sure which direction to face. Nay. It's no use. The more evidence there is, the greater chance of me being wrong. Vibe. Just calm down, Mr. Wright. Try and remember what the evidence room was like on the day of the crime. The badger? The badger. That's the only thing I can think of. I know that was we have it a video. in front of the locker? Yeah, it was like in front the of video. it. The video. No, 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 no. The video shows that the blue badger was there. That's what's not marked on the thing. Mm. Right. Yeah. So we should show the blue badger. I have blue badger as evidence. Oh, but I thought the video would show that too. No, I think no, I need we, to show we just have an the blue entire badger. blue badger in our pocket. Take that. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Ooh. No. What about that piece of plywood? The blue badger, mascot of the police force, defender of truth, guardian of proof. Copyright. Yourself, Mr. Mm -hmm. Wright. Please look at the floor plans of the crime scene. The blue badger is not there. So? So watch what happens when we put him in. This is where he was dancing at the time of the crime, right in front of the oh, locker. He's huge. Mm. He is massive. He's really big. Yeah, and we saw the scuffle was like over here, remember? So Yeah. yeah. It was being blocked by the flag. Well Well what? <gasps> That's right. So long as the blue badger is dancing here, it would have been impossible to place a handprint on this spot on the locker. We hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the Arcade Cabinet. Join us. We're live 9 p.m. Eastern. 
Twister and Twitch and YouTube. If you like what you've seen so far, consider giving us a like and subscribe for more content and chaos. See, See you next time. time. And Meowth, that's right. No. <laughs> <laughs>